Hello everyone, welcome to this here road trip video. So we're off to go sort some 75 stuff out, mainly the um, intake manifold, the EGR valve, the map sensor. We're gonna get it, um, gonna get the CDT135 put on it. We're also gonna get a new um, BCU to allow me to pop the boot with my key and control all the door windows and everything with my key, which is very, very fancy. I'm also gonna get some other random stuff like some new headrests, but anyway, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really does help me out. And I'll see you on the trip. We're also gonna you're also gonna have a bit of a preview of some of the videos that are coming up. So I'll see you on the way. So we've sort of bedded in. We are well on our way, as you can see in front of us now. It's looking rather, um, rather cosy. We've got all of our dials and everything lit up. The usual 75 affair. We've got my Apple CarPlay telling me exactly where to go. Looking good. So a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a snag really. So I booked this hotel. It was 39 quid, by the way. Not the worst. Not the, not the cheapest I've ever stayed. And I actually stayed in one for 28 quid in London. So it's sort of like a review roulette so basically I, I i booked this hotel without looking at the bloody reviews like an idiot and i looked at some of the reviews and i'll put them up on screen and they are absolutely ridiculously bad so i am um, basically it's like a building site but with um like a squatter house on a building site as far as i i'm aware 39 pounds though it's supposed to be it was supposed to be decent so let's see you're gonna get our first reactions of this this brilliant um review roulette um, hotel hell, but not with Gordon Ramsay, just me. I ended up taking a wrong turn and then we came across this weird house that had been um, smashed through with an excavator and then there was another excavator literally picking up a caravan. I thought that was quite interesting to include this. It's the famous table mark from the reviews. It's not, it's not that, that bad. sex in the room next to us we had dog barking at two o'clock in the morning we had people screaming outside and crying outside the the bloody room um, and outside and then we had um, we had some other stuff i'm no by no means like a pretty princess by the way i've stayed in some right places and i understand they obviously 39 quid what do you expect but yeah that was something else so as you can see by the way i look i look absolutely shattered but today, I'm very excited because we are gonna go get our new um, headrests, new BCU fitted. Um, we're gonna get that the intake manifold clean and sorted out. We're gonna get some new intercooler O-rings, which is what's causing a bit of smoke to come out my, my rear end. We're also getting a few, <clears throat> a few other bits and a new three-speed fan. My car's one of the early ones, so it came with a three-speed four-wire fan, I think. Steve from Arctic said, who we're visiting by the way, good brilliant guy. Um, so we're getting that sorted as well, so my air conditioning will not whoop anymore and overheat. So let, we'll see the damage when we're there. So we're back for a very special video as well. So I think I'm, I'm back in 75 heaven basically. So this new video will be coming out on Thursday of all of these things again. But as I promised, it's gonna be the more detailed one with sound quality and the for sale. So, you will see me in that video, but back to what we're here for at the moment, which is my car getting done. Look at that nice tea, Reg. So everything's off. We're changing the PCV filter 
Turns out it's got an aftermarket EGR, which we need to be that to be sorted. It's been blanked out. That's pretty funny. Um, this is being changed. The new fan's getting put on. My condenser actually looks okay. I'm just going to clean this up before I put everything back on. Well, before Steve puts everything back on. But yeah, looking looking good. And the intercooler O rings are getting replaced as well. So I'll get, give this a good clean because I don't think I'm going to be under here for a bit. Another cool thing is these um, these really super early keys with the Rover logo on. I don't know why you would want to delete that. It just is that little extra touch that makes it a lot more special. Look at how nice that looks. And the logo is the button. Very nice. So that's my current one. Yeah. And then there's <laughs> the new one. Is, the new one's there. That's the new one, model fifteen twenty two, which is the last one that they made. All right. Bit of a preview boys, look at that. That looks amazing. What a set of cars. This will never happen again probably. Look at them all. There's still more to go. Friggin' hell. And then she's looking good as well. What a great day. Good stuff. Look at this, this is 75 overload. She's sitting there with the grates. Look at them all. Friggin' hell looks absolutely crazy so we've had all of our stuff done done now new fan um new pcv um which i would recommend everyone change after two years steve recommends it 100 percent. i was going to do it anyway but may as well do it while i'm here the jamie's done a, a thing on the car so it'll run a lot better and um, we've got the bcu upgrade so i can pop my boot with my key we've got these embossed headrests which really do set things off so we'll just do that as well pop your beauty key you've also got this which can you can wind all your windows up or you can take them all down with the key newer feature new bcu um there's like a specific part number for oh that window's stuck again but yeah look at that it's crazy crazy stuff um, another thing that we've got is the new winter cooler O-rings because one of them had actually fallen out if you'll probably see on one of the things because they basically expand if you're just sitting there flashing stop moaning and then we've we've also had a new what else have we had oh bloody hell there's been a list that long I don't even know anymore we were going to do the handbrake compensator but because my door's decided to stick itself to death it doesn't want to anymore so we can't get the carpets out. Well, Steve can't get the carpets out. He's the one doing it. Oh, my alarm's gone off. Um, yeah. I'll give you a full list of everything that's been done, but she ain't smoking no more. She's running a lot better. New inlet manifold as well. New EGR. Mine originally, well, mine was aftermarket for some bizarre reason. Yeah, I think she is more or less the full thing. Absolutely great. And what a great trip. And what a great end to a trip seeing this mighty roster. So... Everyone, thank you for watching. This video here will be out on Thursday. So, yeah. And all of these at the back are for sale. Not not this one, though. But, yeah. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. Remember to subscribe. Absolutely great. And I'll be coming up with a review of all the changes and how it's made the car feel afterwards. So, stay tuned for that. Remember to subscribe. Cheers. I'm overwhelmed by what's in the background.